Got a plan. Oh. It's been really cool. Disney has finally admitted defeat and they're taking the Marvels out of the theaters or I should rather say the theaters are kicking the Marvels out to save some money and I think this is happening in a lot of theaters a lot of people that are, have gone to see this they saw this movie without anyone else in the theater so this is an epic failure for the theaters they maintain uh, the amount of screens this movie is occupying for the past few months so Disney has just admitted defeat surprisingly saying they're taking and ending the box office run for the Marvels early for the sake of theaters so they can open up their screens to other properties that are coming out that are more profitable and I think this is something we haven't seen Disney actually clearly state about a movie that has been an absolute failure for themselves but this makes more sense because they're saying they're not going to release any more estimations and valuations of how much money they're making which shows me this is a complete embarrassment to the company to Disney to Bob Iger they poured over 300 million dollars into overall production of this movie and to see it come up so short at least domestically making only 80 million dollars that is something that can't be avoided as a, a failure of what their ideology and what they perceive fans like in movies and cinema and now we're having this admission of guilt and admission of failure here by Disney itself saying we're gonna end this early we're not gonna even talk about any of the valuations anything else related to how much money we're making on this or how much money we're losing because essentially we're just embarrassed by what we have produced here and we're trying to move on and I think this is the, the uh, a sign that the pressure on Bob Iger and, and Disney is mounting with uh, the aggressive takeover by Nelson Peltz an uh, activist investor that is trying to get board seats trying to fire Bob Iger and you've seen Bob Iger react in ways where he's admitted faults here or there saying we're fixing things but I think this is showing their failure there's nothing to fix here they failed in creating a property that was valuable enough to reach a billion dollars because the previous installment did do that and this only making a hundred and eighty million dollars globally it may be stopping at two hundred million dollars on a three hundred million dollar budget with uh, a, a, an estimation of having to make over seven hundred million dollars just to make a profit that is an epic failure of colossal proportions where they're losing over 500 million dollars in the overall release of this property and I don't see how Bob Iger can talk his way out of this we've seen his uh, recent interviews where he's blaming everything on Bob Chapik the previous CEO that he anointed as CEO and he's trying to skirt around the issues of his fault with what is being created in the MCU Star Wars and Disney Pixar and all the animations and and I, I, I don't see how he can skirt around. This is his baby. These are all his properties that he brought in. He hired everyone that is in the lead role of guiding these properties. And they're guiding them into the toilet. And I, I don't see how he can skirt any blame for the faults of these franchises. When everyone that he hired, everyone that he fired that had talent that is not there is succeeding. I'm talking about the, the head of Pixar, that John Lasseter, that they fired. I'm talking about Edgar Wright. I'm talking about all these brilliant minds James Gunn who made the only profitable Marvel movie this year and I think that is showing the failures right there of Bob Iger and Disney where the people that have left their control of grasp of uh, creativity they've flourished elsewhere and I think that is what we're seeing here where we're seeing Disney still falter while all these other people are growing and exceeding in anything they were working on outside of Disney's control and I think just seeing them admit that they are taking this movie out i think this is more of the theaters kicking bob Iger and disney out because this is just taking too much screens and not making any money at all i think that is the frustration of uh movie theater owners where you have something that has it has multiple thousands of screens but no one's actually going to see it and you're just losing money you're not getting the concession stands that you want you're not getting people purchasing uh food or anything other items and it's just uh, putting a drag to the theaters that are already suffering after a pandemic after an actor writer strike uh, it, it is something where these theaters need to make money i think that's why they're focusing 
more on horror, more on concert movies. We saw Taylor Swift make a, a big splash with one of her concert movies and Beyonce doing the same thing. And we have Godzilla Minus One. I think people are clearing away for these actual hit movies that people want to see or concerts that people want to see. And they don't need the Marvels clogging up the theater space. And I think it makes sense for Disney to bow out rather than the theaters saying we're kicking out the Marvels because it's not making money. And I think they're trying to avoid that embarrassment from the theaters just putting out their dirty laundry and I think this is Disney's way of just stepping out ahead of things and saying okay we're gonna just pull everything out and this has nothing to do with the theater is not making the money we're just doing this because the, the theatrical run is over and we're gonna put it on Disney plus and see what happens there and I, no I don't think that's what's happening I think this is just Bob Iger doing what he usually does escaping responsibility for his failures and now we have him escaping the responsibility of his greatest failure the Marvels and he saw an interview where he said he thought they, they needed more executives on set uh, to, to watch Nia DaCosta and that was the fault of the Marvels. I, I think they already probably had enough executives. I, I feel like this is not even Nia DaCosta's full film even though I don't like Nia DaCosta as a, a director I feel like the movies she brought out uh, Candyman were terrible so I felt like her direction style wasn't even suited for Marvel and it was lackluster anyway so I don't know why they even hired her because I don't feel like she was a great director and I think that's a, a hint of them choosing poor directors and I, I feel like that is the case they chose a poor director because they felt like she was a strong female candidate to represent that particular particular fan base but uh, she just didn't have the talent to match with the movie she was producing and of course I think Marvel is making terrible scripts for the directors they're choosing as well so it's a combination of terrible executive management and terrible talent being casted in roles where they just didn't have the, the creativity to actually build something upon what, what they're working on and I think the Marvels is one example of that and I think there's many examples of that you can just look at all the animations that Disney has actually produced recently it's just not up to snuff to some of the things that they made in the past and I think you can clearly see that with Wish which is, which is another bomb people are saying Disney will probably quickly remove from the theaters in a similar way to the Marvels just to save face and I, I think this is unavoidable with the way things have been going for the Marvels recently just for Disney in whole and I, I think it's shocking to see them actually admit this in a bold faced way where they are are just trying to avoid the embarrassment of the failure of their creation and it is glorious for some of the people that have seen that this would be the case for this uh, movie but it's sad that it got to this point where it, it, Disney refused to understand that they were making terrible uh, content for their dwindling audience and I think this year was a time where it, it was proven to them uh, successively that they have failed in uh, grabbing hold of their core audience and I think that is what we're seeing here and I don't know where they go from here I don't know what other movies they plan to do this with besides Wish I know Wish is another failure but I don't know what else they can they do to subvert this I'm thinking Nelson Peltz winning that proxy war is the only thing that can save Disney but uh, who am I kidding I think just with Hollywood and how it is people that fail they fail upwards we see Kathleen Kennedy fail upwards we see people that made uh, the Witcher Blood Origins now they're making Naruto movies people fail upwards in Hollywood so I can't see Bob Iger doing anything else but failing upwards to maybe uh, the Democratic national nominee for president. Maybe that is his uh, version of failing upwards. We all know he always wished to be president, so I think that's his failing upwards. But you tell me, what do you think is going on with the Marvels? What do you think is going on with Bob Iger? And i just like to hear your comments about the, the Marvels just being kicked out of the movie theaters. Like, share, and subscribe. This is Wagner Knows Why. Catch you next time.